I wanted to see if these cheaper no brand hinges that I found on eBay would be able to replace my worn out Blum or Bloom hinges or have I just wasted my money? Now this isn't going to be the most high stakes DIY video you've ever seen. But if you're like me, money saved is money earned. And I wanted to know whether one of these no brand hinges would be able to replace a quality bloom hinge that's broken on my corner cabinet. And if it can replace it, it would be for a fraction of the price. So let's see if it does. This bottom hinge here on the cabinet side, one of its adjusting screws seems to be stripped or broken. And so that hinge needs replacing, but you buy hinges in a pair. So let's change two hinges. These hinges, like most modern ones, have a little button or a tab at the back. Make sure you're holding onto the door before you press that button or tab, and that's what releases it from the hinge. Just move that away, put it somewhere safe. We'll need to remove the hinge mounting plate because the budget hinges come with its own slightly different one. Here's the first thing we're going to have to modify. That bloom hinge has actually got room up under here for these little plastic wall plug screw insert looking things. The no brand one is actually flush across the bottom. So I'm going to need to trim those back. I might just do that with a knife. And you'll need to remove the hinge from the door. These ones will just pop off once you open the little flappy door part. It expands to hold the hinge into the hinge cup when it's shut. Unless you replace it with the same type, you may have to attach the new hinges with screws. I'm fully expecting the replacement hinges screw holes to not line up exactly with the original. Let's see how well these hinges fit. The hinge cup is perfect. Perfect size. But, oh yeah, I can see the holes where we're wanting to screw. You can see they're just skewed. They're just off center. So we're gonna to need to modify this a little bit. Let's try a wall plug first. Okay, that seems to be on there really strong. Oh well, a wall plug to fill up most of the hole, then a pilot hole next to it, the new screws, and that seems to be as snug as anything. So, okay, let's replicate that on this one. New hinges are on this cupboard. I think we could adjust it up a little. When you adjust the height, using these adjusting screws here on the base plates, make sure that you adjust both brackets evenly because otherwise you end up putting too much load on one of the hinges. Height seems to be good. Nice even gap all the way down. Okay, now let's attach our second door. While those no brand hinges work, the door's installed and it's working. There's definitely not as much adjustment on those cheaper brands or the, the cheaper hinges, but I've managed to get it lined up and it's working well. The next test is time. Like after this cupboard's been opened and shut a thousand times, whether those hinges will still be functioning. That was a replacement that cost about half the price. If you want to learn how to easily adjust your kitchen cabinet hinges, Check out this playlist just here. If you haven't already, subscribe. You can do that just there, and I'll see you in the next video.